Hello and welcome. It's time for a farming simulator mod snippet. Today, we are going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to manage your mods for Farming Simulator 22 to allow you to have separate mod folders for each map or server you connect to and how to prevent OneDrive from trying to sync all of those mods to the cloud. First off, let's just look at our folders. We've got this, which is pretty much your typical Farming Simulator 22 install directory. Uh, in this install directory, we've got we've got our debugger, save games, our mods folder, and then all the way down to all of our XML files that define how the game saves its data. Now, if your computer doesn't have it stored in this same location, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really affect this tutorial, but what we're really looking for is this kind of folder structure. And once you find this folder structure, we can move on to the next step. Now, the easiest way to manage, I'm showing here, you have a mods folder and in that mods folder, let's say in that mods folder, we have a bunch of mods. These are here that I just picked out a bunch to start for Comlands. Now, since this is the default mod folder that the game uses, everything is going to be here. So if you're connecting to multiple maps, have multiple games, you're just gonna put everything all in one folder. The downside with this is you're gonna have this folder and it's gonna get really big, really fast. So one of the things we want to do is try to separate which mods we're using, which ones we're not using, and which ones so that when we load into a game, we're only loading the mods that we need. I'll link to a video below where Farmer Klein did about a month ago. He went into this whole process and more specifically, he went into why you'd want multiple mod folders. And I highly recommend watching that video because it, especially because it explains why we want the multiple mod folders. The way he explains it essentially is you have two folders and if you want to switch between the folders, you rename the folders. So this one uh, becomes, this is mods single player. And then so that the game can, can know where the folder is, we re rename this, we're gonna rename this to mods. And now that folder, the commons folder, is now the folder that the game will load when we load into the game. That's great and fine. It does work. And if you don't want to get into any more kind of complex than that, that's a great way to do it. So I'd rec highly recommend you watch that video. I'll link it below. I'm going to talk about a different way. So now that we know why we want to have multiple folders, assuming you've watched that other video, we're going to talk about a different solution. And I feel that this solution is a little bit easier to manage in the long run. One thing we have to notice is if we look up in our path here, this is where this save game folder is installed by default. We see that we're installing it to OneDrive documents, my games, farming simulator. Now the downside of this is the OneDrive part. It's a good thing and a bad thing. OneDrive is going to synchronize all of our games and all of our save games, all of these save games here, and all of our game settings and whatnot. It's going to save them to the cloud. That's great. But the downside of that same synchronization is that the mods folder also gets synchronized to the cloud. Now, when you download mods, right now it's empty, but if we look at what we were looking at before for Comlands, these files are pretty big. Uh, this one is 82 megs, this one is 17 megs, this is 30, 23 megs, and that can add up over time. The more mods you download, especially maps, those can get really big. The quicker you're gonna eventually hit the OneDrive limit of five gigabytes. And then after that, you have to pay to upgrade your OneDrive account. Now, from my perspective, I think these mods are just really just taking up space. They don't need to be synchronized to the cloud. We can always download them again. And in all honesty, you probably want to download them somewhat every once in a while to be able to download updates or make sure you're on the latest version. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a different way to handle it. So first of all, we're going to create a new folder on our hard drive for accessing our mods so that it's outside of the OneDrive space. So we're gonna go to my PC and we're gonna see, and as you can see, I already have a gaming folder here and I have a farming simulator. And as you see, I have a mods folder. Now inside my mods folder, you can see I have a couple different playthroughs. Each of these mod folders has their own set of mods. Today, for this kind of mod snippets series, we're gonna use this folder and we are going to take the full, the files that were in that commands folder. So let's get them from that other place. So they were, I believe they were in here. We're gonna move these out here, right? And then we don't need this folder anymore. We're gonna delete it. So now we have 
mods, mod snippets. Once we're done with that, we're gonna now need to tell the game where this folder is. So before I do that, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna copy this. And now we're gonna switch back over to this window and we're gonna scroll down, scroll down to the bottom. And what we're looking for is this file right here called game settings. .xml. Now we're gonna do what we do here is gonna require a little bit of code. Don't worry too much. It's not that hard. It's XML. It's very, very easy to understand and I'll walk you through it. So let's open up this game settings.xml. Now I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code, which is just a code editor. You can open it up in Notepad, which comes with your computer. It doesn't matter which one. Today, we're gonna to be using Visual Studio Code, and I will link to install files for both Visual Studio Code, which is free, and also Notepad++, which is one of the other popular ones that people use within the modding community. So we've opened up game settings.xml, and this is what it looks like. And in all honesty, most people are gonna be super overwhelmed. This is like, oh my God, what is this? This is code. I don't know what I'm, what's going on here, but let's simplify it because we're only looking for one line in this whole file. If you look at the rest of the file, these are just settings. This is how the game settings, game settings, let's run the game settings folder, no big deal. What we're looking for, and I'm just gonna add some space to make it easier to see, is we're looking for this line right here. This is called the mods directory override. And basically what this is, is that if you set this, it's gonna tell the game to use whatever directory you give it instead of the default mods directory. So if we come in here and we hit paste, if you remember, we copied our new folder location a few minutes ago, that in, and then we need mod snippets. And then the last thing we need to do is set this to true. Now, here's what it is, and we'll show you the difference real quick. If this is still set to false, then the game does not know about that mods directory. Here, we know that our mods directory is empty. We know for a fact that we're not gonna be able to load that same comlands um, file. So if we go into our game, we launch the game real quick. Go into career, and if you see, I have a comlands game save right here. And it's not working. This the thumbnail's not working. And if I tried to go into create a new game, when it gets into the game and I choose, there's no mods, I have no mods, where are they? Why isn't it working? The answer, and we have to exit all the way back out if we change that file, the answer is in that file. So in our game settings file, if we set this to true, and we hit save, then when we launch back into the game, you'll see that that Comlands save game, which I just created today, is now ready to go and working. We've got career, comlands, now the icon works, the icon, the map icon works. We go into it, we have all of our icon, all of our mods. Look, there's a few extra mods that I didn't use last time. We can add those in and we can start into the game. Now, that's it. That's really all there is to it. But now you're thinking, well, what, what happens if I wanna go and do something else? Like this, that now are my settings are set to use Comlands. What if I wanted to go to the Stream from Scratch series, which is another series that I'm doing onto YouTube, and I'll link that below too. That's Old Stream Farm, and that one's not working, so how do I get that to work? That's equally easy. We're gonna go back out, go to Quit. We're gonna go into our mod folder, and we're gonna click here, and then we're gonna come here, and we're gonna copy. We're gonna copy this line. And then we go into VS Code, back into VS Code. We're gonna put that there for now. We're gonna copy this line and then we're gonna put the new path into here. And, but wait, the XML file only wants one of these lines to be here. So I could delete the other one, but that's gonna make it hard to switch back and forth. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna comment. So a comment in XML or HTML is just that those characters. It's the angle bracket, exclamation point, dash, 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 the other angle bracket. BS code makes that really easy because I can just click on the line and hit control slash, and it'll add the comment or remove the comment. So these are both set to active true. If I hit save right now and I launch into the game again, go into career, and now the screen from scratch one is working. And if we scroll over, Comlands one is not. So this basically is the game is knowing, knows as it loads, which set of mods it's using for each game save. And so if 
as you can see for the stream from scratch series, I have a ton of mods that are all installed here that I'm going to be using on that series, but those are not the same ones that I'm using for Comlands. So if I wanted to switch back to Comlands, I'm just going to exit out, come into here, uncomment the Comlands line, comment out stream from scratch line, hit save and jump back into the game. And then that's it. That's as simple as it can get. You can do that for as many folders as you want. I have currently in the uh, four or five folders and I have them all commented. I just comment them out, comment them in and use whichever one I need to use. As you can see now the stream from scratch one is broken or not working and commas. Now, if I tried to, you go into the wrong folder, watch what happens. It won't even let me click into it. I can't click into it because it doesn't have that map here. I can click into it. I can load into it, start the game and everything loads just fine. And so that's it. You can have as many mod folders as you want. And this is comes especially valuable when you start connecting to multiplayer servers, because each multiplayer server is going to have their own set of mods. And those mods need to be versioned the same as everyone else who is on that multiplayer server. So you want to keep a kind of a log or a history or keep track of the exact versions that that server needs. And to do that, having a separate folder is incredibly valuable. And it's much easier to manage this way with just one extra folder in your mods directory. So we're loading into Comlands. We're in this game save for Comlands. There we are. And that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you think this tutorial has helped you or if you have any questions. Hit that like button if you found this useful and don't forget to subscribe for more mod snippets in the future. We're planning on diving into actually creating some of our own mods and using some of the things that are on the screen right now. So if you want to come in and watch those, don't forget to hit that, hit that subscribe button and follow along. Catch you all later. Thanks.